This is one of the coolest ways to level up your Jollyfin server. Let's say you've just clicked the office and you're greeted by that cheerful piano riff. Or the suspenseful Game of Thrones intro. You remember that iconic Friends jingle? It's like your media library suddenly comes alive. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up and it's automatic once you get it going. Stick around to the end and I'll teach you step by step how to take this to the next level. Let's get into it. Section 1. Theme Songs for Shows To get this working, let's install the Theme Songs plugin. Here's how. Head over to the Jellyfin dashboard and click on the catalog in the plugins section. Click the settings icon at the top, then the plus icon to add a repository. Choose any name for the repository, then paste the URL from the video description below. Now you can search the catalog for theme songs and click it to install. You have to have the TV database plugin enabled and active for this to work. Finally, you'll need to restart your Jellyfin server by clicking dashboard, then restart. Once that's done, Jellyfin will automatically download theme songs for your shows and apply them when scanning the library. To force the issue, simply click on Scheduled Tasks at the bottom of the navigation bar. Then click Download TV Theme Songs under the Theme Songs section. If you check the folder location for your show, you'll now see a theme.mp3 file which contains the newly downloaded theme songs. To enable this feature of allowing Jellyfin to play these songs while you're scrolling, you need to click on Settings in Jellyfin, then click Display, and check the box for Theme Songs. While you're here, check the box for Theme Videos as well. Section 2. Theme Videos for Movies Now, let's take it a step further. You can also add Theme Videos, little clips that play on a movie's page. This adds a nice visual flair, kind of like what you see on Netflix or Plex. Here's what it looks like. This is Sparta! And this is All in Jellyfin. Now, let me show you a quick example of how we can update the Matrix page to play a short clip from the movie using the free video editing software DaVinci Resolve. First, load the title into the software then, you can find a clip to use. I'm seeing a peak here in the audio, so it might be a good clip. Let's check it out. Yeah, this is cool. I'll move frame by frame to find the place that I want to cut the clip. Use the left or right arrow to move frame by frame and find that perfect spot. This looks good, so just press O on the keyboard to tell DaVinci Resolve that this is our video out placeholder. Now, move back in the timeline to find the start of the clip. Units. Once you identify it, click I to signify the in placeholder. I sent two units. They're bringing her down now. No, Lieutenant, your men are already dead. Next, go to the Deliver tab and type theme for the file name. These files will need to go into a subfolder in the movie folder called Backdrop. Specify the file location for the backdrop folder in the movie folder. Set the format to MP4 and update the resolution to 720p because quality is not that important for these clips. Click Add to Render Queue, then Render in the upper right corner. This should put the clip theme.mp4 into the backdrop subfolder inside of the movie folder that Jellyfin uses. Now. Jellyfin will automatically units. recognize this and Bring play it, it whenever now. you open the movie no, page. It's pretty clean, there. right? You can do this for any movie or show you want. I will note, you may need to update the custom CSS that you've applied in order to change the opacity of the background so that you can see the video. To adjust the opacity of the backdrop in Jellyfin, go to the General tab in the dashboard. Under Custom CSS, Search for the Background Container class and modify the opacity to a smaller number. And that's it! Theme music 
and theme videos are an awesome way to personalize your Jellyfin server and bring some cinematic flair to your library. If you found this helpful, smash the like button and subscribe for more Jellyfin tips. Got any questions? Leave them in the comments, I'd love to help. Until next time, keep your libraries looking and sounding amazing. Thank you.